OCD is setting you up to fail. That's right. Now that you know this, you'll stop following OCD, right? Problem solved. Thank you, thank you. My time is up. That's all you needed to hear. See ya. Well, it's not that easy, but don't fret. I am going to teach you how to succeed with your OCD. But first, I'm going to tell you about somebody named Sarah. And think about your OCD fears and see if you can relate to her experiences. I'm going to accentuate different keywords for you to really pay attention to. One day, Sarah was driving home from work when she thought that she might have hit somebody with her car. She couldn't remember for sure if she hit something or not. The thought of hitting someone and not knowing was eating her alive. She couldn't focus on anything else and felt this wave of anxiety wash over her. Sarah knew that the logical thing to do would be to continue driving home and check with the authorities to see if she had any information about somebody being hit. But her OCD took over. She couldn't shake this feeling that she had hit somebody and needed to know for sure. Sarah made a U-turn and drove back to the spot where she thought she might have hit somebody. She checked the area thoroughly, but there was no sign of anybody being hit. Still, the doubt and anxiety lingered. She could not shake this thought. Sarah decided to drive back to that same spot several times that evening, each time checking thoroughly for any signs of an accident. She even went as far as getting out of her car, checking under for damage. There was nothing. Despite this, her anxiety and doubt persisted. The next day, Sarah called the police and asked if there was any reports of hit and run accidents. They confirmed that there was no such reports. Sarah felt a moment of relief, but her OCD still caused her to continue to check. Sarah's OCD had taken over and consumed her thoughts, causing her to act in a way that was just not rational or logical. She knew that she had not hit anybody, but her fear and the need for certainty were so strong that she could not let this go. So did you catch the important keywords here? I'm trying to make them pretty obvious. Did you see how Sarah's OCD set her up for failure? She knew logically that she didn't hit somebody. She had a thought and followed through with it. It persisted, which means it was important, right? If you keep having a thought, must mean it's important. Even after the police confirmed there was no problem, she could not shake that feeling. Even she knew it was irrational. She couldn't stop the thoughts or the actions. Ultimately, what we learned from this is that whoever said trust your feelings did not have OCD. Trust your gut. No. This is where the OCD brain loves to live. I'm gonna make you feel something, make you doubt, make you do all these behaviors to reinforce what I told you is accurate. As Admiral Akbar likes to say, it's a trap. Or how does he say it? It's a trap. I don't, I don't know how he says it. It's tough to make a change because the OCD brain is designed to protect. Some see OCD as your enemy, while others see it as protecting you. It's just not doing a very good job. Researchers from Michigan Medicine gathered 500 patients with OCD, and after various brain scans discovered that the OCD brain responds very much differently than others. It responds too much to error messages and not as much to those stop signals that say something's not important. What this means is that the part of your brain that is designed to tell you what is dangerous or or not is malfunctioning. It wants to protect you. That is our natural instinct. What we're supposed to do is react to real threats, fix them, and move forward. So then why doesn't logic work? This is the trap that is setting you up for failure. Logic does not work. But you're not falling for these traps anymore. Instead, you're gonna set yourself up for success. And you know what we're gonna do? Dun dun dun! Exposure and response prevention. No, you didn't tell me just to face my fears. I sure did. So here's what you can do. An exposure can be anything you're choosing to do to not give in to that threat. And it's really a threat that you're guessing is a threat. So for Sarah, she had the thought and anxiety that she hit somebody. Guess what? The exposure is keep on driving while saying, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Big smile on my face. Guess I'll never know for sure. Seems risky, but if we're guessing, we're gonna keep moving forward. If we know 100%, no question out about it, 
we're gonna stop. We go against the grain, choose to not respond. So for your OCD, are you afraid of what you think you know? Or are you afraid of this just complete guess? If I had to wager, you're afraid of the guesses, the things you don't know for sure. So your job is to keep them there. Feel anxious, have the thoughts, do not respond to it. Choose to not know everything. When there's a real threat, meaning something you know for sure, you don't even have to question it, you can respond. Let me give you an example. I walk by the tub where my child's taking a bath and I have the thought, is that poop? I feel anxious, it feels real. My body is saying clean, sanitize, wash your hands, get your child out, put them in the shower, scrub them real good, this is gross. It was just a thought, it was just a guess. Versus, I walk by the tub and my child is holding their poop in their hands. True story, this happened to me last week. Do I at that point have to be like, you know what? I'm not sure if there's poop, huh? I wonder if I should get my child out of the bath and give him a shower and clean the tub. Like, oh, I'm just not sure. No, we know for sure because there's a real threat placed in front of us. If you don't have one of those specific moments where you were like thousand percent sure, we're choosing to not respond to it. Even if for some reason we got it wrong, we're still accepting that there could be poop or just choosing to not respond to it. If you need more tips like this, check out the step-by-step -step online Master Your OCD course. It teaches you everything you need to know. 42 videos, worksheets, Elf. This thing's awesome. It's everything I teach people in my office. You can go preview it for free. I'm gonna put a link down in the description. And you can go to ocd-anxiety.com. So don't let your OCD set you up for failure. You are stronger than that. Know its tricks. What are you gonna do today to teach your OCD who's the boss? Also, you need to go watch this video right here on the three warning signs to look for when you're trying to notice your OCD and catch it in its tracks. Yeah, it's still right here. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.